Donald Trump has claimed talks with Kim Jong-un broke down because the North Korean leader wanted all sanctions lifted, something the U.S. could not agree to. Trying desperately to put a positive spin on a humiliating turn of events, one that appeared to shock observers and participants alike, the U.S. president said he was not prepared to make a deal for the sake of it. Sometimes you have to walk, said the man who had bragged on the presidential campaign trail of his skills as a deal maker. He said the sticking point had been the North Korean leader's demand to have lifted all of the U.S. and international sanctions imposed on it. Basically they wanted the sanctions lifted in their entirety, and we couldn't do that. He insisted that the two sides would talk again and that his relationship with the 35-year-old North Korean leader was very warm. He insisted that the meeting did not end contentiously, but with a very friendly walk. I'd much rather do it right than do it fast. We're in position to do something very special. In recent days, Mr. Trump had sounded cautious about the prospect of securing a rapid breakthrough with North Korea, with which the U.S. had been at loggerheads for seven decades. After last June's meeting in Singapore made history, he traveled to Vietnam insisting to reporters he was in no rush. All of this led experts to ask why he was apparently so keen for a second summit without the groundwork to edge the two countries closer being completed by officials. Summits that are scheduled to involve a ceremony to sign an agreement almost invariably follow months of negotiations on discussions. The two leaders discussed various ways to advance denuclearization and economic-driven concepts, said White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders. No agreement was reached at this time, but their respective teams look forward to meeting in the future. Yet as he prepared to fly back to Washington empty-handed and three hours ahead of schedule his former lawyer Michael Cohen and his allegations of presidential wrongdoing dominating the headlines, Mr. Trump admitted there was no plan yet for a third summit. The president said Mr. Kim had been prepared to move some way towards denuclearization, 